Put it back, guys. Back safely. The only bit of damage, main bit of damage is that. It's completely smashed. Um, there's a couple of scuff marks. One of the rubbers had come out. It's popped there a bit. I think I've, there's a slight crack on one of the legs. I've connected it all up together again. Camera's working fine. It looks level. Uh, everything's fine on the actual receiver. Obviously it needs to go out for a test flight. That's going to be in the next couple of days. Weather there is going to be a bit wet. So it might be next week before we get a real good flight of it. Tell you the story. We went out yesterday to a, a, a new mine. We've been to this one before. We've been to, there's a little mine on the other side of it, but we haven't actually gone over the whole mine itself. That was the idea. I used a battery previous day, so it was just over 50%, which is plenty. It's really going to do, I don't know, three or four minutes flight. It's a bit cloudy, like I said. So, me and Steve sat down in the chair. Maybe that was the wrong decision to do. We never actually sat that close before <laughs> when flying. Um, so anyway, took it off. So I got, got my home point. I always do an auto takeoff just to make sure everything's fine there. Um, as it went out towards the mine buildings, um, there was a bit of a loss on the picture. I'm going to show you my flight record and also show you my flight record video, which is really handy um, because I didn't have that obviously until I got me drone back on the SD card. So that was a big help. Anyway, as it was going up, I suppose within the first minute, I started to lose picture. It then went black and white, it then went still, I'd lost signal, it said that, uh, so I pressed the button, return to home, didn't do it, pressed it again, kept my finger on it, still didn't do it, I then choose the, on the screen itself, return to home, it said return to home failed, did it again, obviously this is all within seconds I suppose really and then the panic sets in <laughs> what's, what's going on can't Steve had brought his drone back in by then um, turned it down to the ATI mode still nothing I mean I, nothing on the screen other than it, it just froze really uh, so so the only other thing to do was to kept on trying to return to home button still nothing we waited there about 10 minutes because i i used to have a, a vision plus and this happened slightly different i suppose it had flew it just disappeared and i thought i'd lost it completely i only just got it that day um and i was just about to pack up and go home and it flew back over so i was hoping that this would happen um it didn't so we checked the flight record thankfully it's showed the little red arrow which is um where it, well we thought it had landed so we went around the other side of the mine we used our gps on my google map and we went to the exact spot of where the little red arrowhead is thinking that was where the drone is it wasn't obviously that's where we'd lost signal um so then we spent the next couple of hours walking all over the place couldn't find it we went back home, I came out later on with my wife and a friend and we did a game, we just looked all over. I mean, by then, um, we did get a, a picture come up on the screen of where the, the drone had crashed in a, some grass. That's all we could see was just some grass. And I was getting a, 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 re, a reading on my receiver saying I had that much battery power. This is when I was with Steve and then eventually after about an hour, I had nothing, so I didn't even know if the drone was still alive, really. So, anyway, after yesterday, I come back here, as you know, I put the video up. Wasn't giving a lot of hope for it, but by when I got back home that evening, I managed to find the actual uh, recorded flight video, which was really handy. So that gave me some idea of the direction around which way the drone was going. So this morning, after I told the wife, well, that's it, my love, it's Christmas. <laughs> I might get a new drone. 
Uh, I think she was quite determined to go and find my drone. <laughs> anyway, we got back to the location within five minutes because we knew what direction it was going, we found it. It had gone straight into the cliff. I'm going to show you the video from the SD card. Um, so, where we last location on the Red Arrow, this road junction, it, it obviously carried on and went straight into the cliff. Now, what's concerned me on this is when you lose signal, the drone is supposed to stop and then return to home. If it doesn't um, return to home, it's supposed to still stay stationary until the battery power goes down to about 40% and then the second safety thing kicks in and it goes back. Well, my battery, when I took it off, was just over 50%. I've only flown it a couple of minutes, so I plenty of battery power. When it lost signal, even though it's supposed to stop, it didn't, it just carried on. And because I couldn't see what was going on, it just went straight into that cliff. That's not good because um, one thing I liked about the DJI drone is this fail safe method is if anything went wrong, it would come back to me. It didn't. Why? I don't know. I've sent an email to DJI support last night. I haven't got a reply back yet. I know they're busy and um, hopefully in the next couple of days I'll get a response back. But I'm not going to get to the end of that because it'll be backwards and forwards and probably want to see my flight record. So in the meantime, uh, a friend of mine, BD, Thank you, BD. I think he had a good, maybe a good idea, is because it's, it's the first time that me and Steve actually sat so close together. So maybe the two areas being so close that might have caused a problem. Didn't cause anything with Steve, but it definitely caused a problem with mine. The other thing that we could think of is as we was walking up towards the mines, we noticed a lot of iron ore. Now this is like metal. Now I know this can mess metal, and this don't like. This, you know, this could be another factor, or it could be the new update. I don't know. I just watched a video today by DJ Soul, a um, great channel, and he flies all sorts of drones. And he was flying his standard yesterday. Same problem. He was flying. I mean, he was flying quite high. He had a, a range extender on his anyway, so he'd gone a quite a distance. He lost signal, and. Um, it's, but thankfully it stopped, and it, but it wouldn't return to home, he pressed the return to home, he did the screen, it still didn't do nothing. The only reason it returned to home is when the battery dropped down to below 30%, it then come back. Well, anyway, no doubt the saga is going to go on. Um, <laughs> but yet again, I just want to thank everybody that's watched the vid, um, and thanks for all the positive comments, and yet, I got it back. That's the main thing. I got it back. So as I always say, keep watching. I'll keep you posted on um, how it goes. But I've got some more videos coming up that I've, um, I should have posted a while back, but I haven't got around. So the videos you can see in the next week or so is from this baby. But um, it's before, obviously, I had a problem with it. So anyway, <laughs> don't, so you get a bit confused. So as always, say, keep watching and I'll see you on the next one.